If you or someone you love struggles with negative self-talk, they struggle with that narrative that they hear in their head with negative thoughts, I have a great activity to share with you today. This is one that I use with one of my teen clients and I'm going to share this activity. I don't remember where I heard this from, but it is powerful and it works because oftentimes, especially teenage girls, the narrative that's going on in their head, they would never say those words aloud to their best friend. And that's one of the things of tools that I use with my teenage clients. Those things you tell yourself, would you tell your best friend? And they often look horrified and shocked. No way. And I say, then you don't need to say that to yourself. You need to treat yourself like your best friend. And so the first tip is when they catch themselves with negative self-talk, like I'm such an idiot, anything like that, whatever their narrative is, it's negative. First they catch themselves and then they say, I would never say that to my best friend. So they think of that thought, they put it on their shoulder in a trash can, they blow it up and that's gone. And then they change that narrative. So that's one of the tips that I share with my clients, catching themselves with the negative thoughts, asking if they say that to their best friend and changing the narrative. And it is so important what we tell ourselves because that becomes our reality. So for this part, I want you, you can pause the video. I want you to go get a piece of paper and a writing instrument, pencil, pen, whatever. So pause the video and go get that. Okay, so now that you've got your paper, I want you to look around your space wherever you are. And I want you to find all of the items that you can see that are black. I want you to look for everything up, down, left, right, and just capture that in your mind. Don't write anything down yet. Just get all of the objects that you can see, as far as you can see, in front of you, behind you, that are black, and capture those in your mind. You might wanna pause the video and take a minute to do that. So now that you've got all those objects in your mind that are black, I want you to take that pen in your hand and I don't want you to look around anymore. And I want you to write down everything in the room that you saw that was white. Go. A little hard, right? Because you were focused on looking for things that were black. And that is the power of our mind. We find what we're looking for. So if that narrative in your head is negative, you're gonna find things to reinforce that negative narrative. But if you flip that narrative to, I am capable, I am strong, I am valuable, you're gonna find things to reinforce that narrative. We find what we're looking for. And that is why it is so important to protect our thoughts. And so use that first technique. I talk to myself like I talk to my best friend and throw that negative thought away, replace it with a good thought. And, and remind yourself of the power of our thoughts because we find what we're looking for. And, and share this, I, again, I don't remember, I did not make up this um, activity with looking for the color and then writing down something different, but it is a powerful one and it's great for kids because they relate and they get it. So my clients made massive breakthroughs because she understands the power of her thoughts and so she is now focused on finding those positives, thinking about those positives, finding more, and putting those negative thoughts in the trash can and treating herself like she would her best friend. And I think that's something that we should all do. For more tips and tools, please visit my website at keystocourage.com. I have a free weekly newsletter. I also have a podcast on all podcasting platforms and it's Keys to Courage. And I really appreciate if this is on YouTube, you subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone that you think could benefit from this tip today. We all deserve to live a life full of confidence and courage and clarity. And I hope that my tips and tools can help you do just that.